Last year, we saw the first OLED panel that could hit 2100 nits, namely the Meta panel with MLA or Micro Lens Array technology introduced by LG Display. So let's see what the second generation Meta panel can bring to the table, shall we? Using a profile calorimetry research CR100 calorimeter to measure a 3% window test pattern, you can see the Meta 2 panel reaching a peak brightness of 3000 nits and beyond. Granted, this figure was obtained at the panel's native white point of nearly 10,000 kelvins, but it's undoubtedly the highest peak luminance we've ever measured from any TV-sized OLED screen so far. So how has LG Display achieved this? Well, let's start by revisiting the concept of MLA or Micro Lens Array technology first implemented on LG Display's Meta panel last year where a layer of micrometer-sized convex lenses is deposited on the OLED panel to extract higher light output from the screen. On a conventional OLED panel not blessed with such a technology, a not insignificant proportion of light would be lost through internal reflections within the panel, which is of course quite inefficient. With MLA, billions of minuscule convex lenses are deposited on the OLED panel using ultra-precise patterning effectively creating more than 5,000 micro lenses per pixel on the 77-inch 4K display, although smaller screen sizes will have less micro lenses per pixel due to lower pixel aperture ratio. These micro lenses have been designed in a specific shape to redirect light that's reflected internally back out towards the screen and eventually the user, drastically reducing light loss and enhancing viewable light output. The improved light scattering from MLA also leads to wider viewing angles, with less luminous drop of axis than conventional OLED panels. With this quick MLA refresher out of the way, let's take a look at several new innovations deployed by LG Display on the company's second generation Meta panel, two of which are directly responsible for achieving an unprecedented OLED peak brightness of 3000 nits. The first improvement is an evolution from MLA to MLA+, where the lens shape has undergone further optimization through light efficiency data analysis to dramatically amplify light volume and improve uniformity. To explain the second improvement, we have to go back to the Meta Booster algorithm implemented on last year's first-gen Meta panel which maximizes the peak brightness of different areas on screen by first analyzing the luminous data contained within the input video signal, then optimizing the power delivery to different parts of the panel. On the latest Meta 2 panel with MLA Plus technology, LG Display has fine-tuned the algorithm to not only increase peak brightness by more than 42% to 3000 nits, but also enhance HDR color luminance by over 114% to 1500 nits on a 3% window according to the company's internal measurements. This combination of peak white and HDR color boosting has been aptly dubbed Meta Multi Booster by LG Display. Now, while the company has specified an HDR peak brightness of 3000 nits and color brightness of 1500 nits as the maximum capabilities of its Meta 2 panel, Please be aware that these numbers were recorded at panel native white point and are bound to measure lower at a more accurate color temperature of D65 white point commonly used within the film and broadcast industry. Moreover, it is entirely up to individual OLED TV manufacturers whether to take advantage of the full potential of the Meta 2 panel or to adopt a more conservative approach, especially to comply with EU energy regulations, for instance. With this in mind, LG Display also prepared an alternative Meta 2 panel with MLA Plus hardware but without Meta Multi Booster software algorithm, delivering a peak brightness of 2300 nits, which is around 10% higher than last year's first gen Meta panel. Because the 2300 nit sample was a pre production unit with a rudimentary, non optimized SOC slapped behind, its HDR presentation, including shadows and midtones, would track brighter than the ST2084PQ reference, making it very difficult for us to draw meaningful conclusions regarding any increase in perceived brightness during side by side comparisons against last year's LG G3 with first gen Meta technology. Nevertheless, while watching some dark HDR content we brought ourselves, 
we spotted one major advantage of the latest Meta 2 panel over its predecessor, courtesy of a new feature called Detail Enhancer, which has been designed to improve near black gradation and color accuracy through detailing techniques. The exact technicalities of LG Display's Detail Enhancer feature remain confidential, but the end result was a significant reduction in near black chrominance overshoot artifacts compared to last year's LG G3, which was equipped with a first gen meta panel, as well as smoother gradation with less posterization going from dark to bright in this low light sequence from the 4K Ultra HD Blu ray of Monster Hunter. Of course, mini LED TVs don't suffer from near black chrominance overshoot artifacts and have steadily grown in market share, particularly when it comes to larger screen sizes which can be purchased at a keen price. However, there is no doubt whatsoever in our mind that OLED still delivers overall superior picture quality to mini LED TV, thanks to OLED's self-emissive characteristics where every single pixel can be switched on and off independently of each other. OLED can maintain luminance accuracy on smaller objects, whereas Mini-LED has to dim down smaller areas of bright elements to minimize blooming artifacts. Mini-LED's inability to accurately illuminate small, bright objects is also made worse by movement on screen. For example, during this demo where the moving rectangle darkened down and brightened up as it traveled across different local dimming zones on screen, or in this clip showing how a rapidly moving circle would dim down to the point of vanishing, because the mini-LED local dimming zones were struggling to keep up with the transitions. Last but not least, OLED's pixel-level light control can ensure each element on screen remains color accurate. Unlike mini-LED whose colors on one part of the screen would be affected by other elements due to how local dimming works. While certain quarters may be attracted by mini-LED televisions being available in 85-inch and larger sizes at non-exorbitant prices, the good news is that LG Display's MLA technology will be available in an 83-inch screen size for the first time this year, alongside 55-inch, 65-inch and 77-inch 4K OLED TV panels, not to mention cutting-edge gaming monitors with high refresh rates. Some of these end products have actually been announced at CES 2024, which we've covered in a dedicated video you can watch by clicking here.